She's not here. Well, where'd she go? I don't know. I guess she went home. It seems Brandon was shopping with Rosa. Is my father coming down to see me? No, sweetheart. He's uh, still in with his doctors. Your cousin Madeline's also waiting to see him. He said to say welcome back and that he'll speak with you later. I'm not surprised he's avoiding me. Avoiding you? And cousin Madeline's here? I don't think I'm in the mood to see her. Yes. Why I forgot she's coming. She asked about you. Kirk, I think we need to talk. Well, I'd love to, but I have to be getting to an appointment, Eden. Well, how could you? If you were planning on picking me up at the airport. Or weren't you? Oh, no, yes, I was, but... Well, as you know, Gina just threw a monkey wrench into everything. Did you know I was in Santa Barbara yesterday? You were? No, I had no idea. What were you doing here? Then who were you looking for when you came to Cruz's house yesterday evening? I didn't go looking for anybody at Cruz's house. Why would I do that? You called out Cruz and Eden. I not only saw you, but I heard you. Now, unless there's some other person named Eden that you know, I don't think so. Oh, right. Yeah, that. No, I did need to see Cruz about the uh, hotel security problems. Apparently, they've really been getting out of hand. But, but what I want to know, Eden, is why would you come back from Hawaii without telling me? And instead of coming home to me, go straight to Cruz. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything to be ashamed of. Well, then why are you sorry? I'm sorry because there's no honesty between us. There has been a certain amount of dishonesty pervading this household, and it is going to stop as of tonight. So you and Cruz have come to some kind of decision? No, Kirk. I want to talk to you about the two of us. About our future. Well, it sounds heavy. In fact, I think it's too important of a subject to be talking about with such mundane things as appointments on my mind. Well, when then? Well, what about tonight over dinner then? Fine. You're so beautiful. 